Hello, this is Dave Horan, a product line applications engineer for Viavi Test Solutions. Today I will be talking about the ADSB monitor function of the IFR 6000. January 1st, 2020 is here, and ADSB is mandatory for all aircraft that fly in controlled airspace. Are your aircraft ready to fly? The operator can choose from three methods of testing the aircraft. Over-the-air testing is used to test the aircraft from a distance of up to 50 feet without having to connect any equipment to the transponder antenna. Secondly, the operator can use direct with coupler method using a coupler like the UC584 or the TC201A. Thirdly, the operator can use a direct connection to the transponder bypassing the aircraft antenna and or the antenna feed line. This method is useful when troubleshooting output power problems or sensitivity problems for the LRU. After the common setup items have been entered, the operator chooses the ADSB setup page by using the ADSB setup soft key. ADSB setup consists of entering the location of the test being performed. This should be as accurately determined as possible and is the actual location of the GPS receive antenna on the aircraft. A common question is what is global versus local settings for position decode? Global uses two consecutive odd and even position squitters to determine target location. The local setting uses the test set entered longitudinal latitude and one odd or one even squitter to determine target location. Why use the surveyed or known location for the lat long? Because you are testing the integrity, sill, and NACP of your installed system. The aircraft's antenna should be directly over the known lat long location for a valid test. Using something other than a surveyed location for your location for your testing could possibly introduce additional error into your error calculations. Enter the test altitude that you intend to use. If you are not using an air data test set, just simply put in the field elevation. DF-17 versus DF-18. Most generally, the testing you will be performing is transponder based, so this should be selected as DF-17. If the testing you are performing is beacon based, use DF-18. The GICB setting should be set for DF-20. From the opening menu, pressing the transponder key brings up the ADSB GICB test menu. Pressing the Run Test Soft key will place the IFR 6000 in the ADSB monitor mode. As the IFR 6000 monitors the squitters, the menu items that are available will be filled in. Simply, simple selection of the squitter type will display the data that was received. While running, you will see the IFR 6000 interrogate the aircraft as indicated by the blue LED flashing. The responses to the interrogations will be the green LED flashing. This is an attempt of the IFR 6000 to obtain the mode S address from the aircraft being tested. The aircraft must be in the airborne condition to respond. After the airborne squitters have been collected, then switch the aircraft air ground switch to the surface for the remaining part of the test. Selecting any of, any of the registers that are available will display the data collected from the aircraft. To select a register, use the up or down arrow to highlight the register of interest, press the BDS soft key, and the data will be displayed for that register.